I have a message from God that I, I feel. And I'm, I don't want to be different, but I must be honest. And if I don't speak my convictions, uh, then you can't have no confidence in me because I, I, I'd be more like a traitor or a hypocrite. Et maintenant, j'ai un message de la part de Dieu. C'est ce que je, je crois. Et je suis, je ne veux pas être différent. Mais je dois être honnête, et si je n'exprime pas mes convictions, alors vous ne pourrez pas avoir confiance en moi, parce que je, je, je serai plutôt un traître ou un hypocrite. And I, I want to be anything else besides that. You see, I might lose a few friends on earth, but I, I want to stay true to my convictions, to what I think is right. Et je, je désire être tout sauf ça. Vous voyez. Il se peut que je perde quelques amis sur cette terre, mais je, je veux rester fidèle à mes convictions, à ce que je pense être juste. Welcome everyone to the lion's den, where we say it's the word, which is the tapes, or nothing. Amen. 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 I'd like to welcome you to a church where we believe and we teach a little bit different than a lot of other churches out there. A lot of other pastors and stuff teach a little bit different than us, where they say that you can hear the message anytime but not in church. But here we believe and teach you should hear the message all the time and in the church every time. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. What he also discovered is how come, how did we get that faith? How did we get that faith built up in us? We're a tape church. That, that's how you got that. That's how you get that faith right there. Amen. Uh -oh. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You can see this. I was telling the brothers real quick and telling them I didn't know where Brother Branham says, I'm not speaking people against churches. Don't get that wrong against brethren. And Brother Branham said that was wrong to doing that. But I'm against us any spirit that would keep these tapes out of the churches Amen. or before the people. That I'm against. Amen. It's not against the ministers of the ministry to be clear, to be misunderstood. It's always been misunderstood. That's not it. But it's very, Satan's very smart. He's clever. He knows how to say it. He knows how he, he did it back then. But this day and time, they will admit, many will say, Brother Branham was a prophet. Yeah. The devil knows that. Yeah. He knows that he's, he's a prophet of God who is sent. You should listen to the tapes. They say that. But you must also hear me. Are here my ministry. There was the falsehood. It's not leading the people to the prophet to them. There's where it gets off. There's where it is. You must have us or you're going to be confused. You won't understand. You don't understand what that prophet said if you don't listen to us. There's some that say that. Hmm. Oh, Brother Branham, he's a good man. See, he knowed better than to throw anything on that character. Amen. Brother Branham, but don't listen to his tapes because they'll get you confused. There just happened to be one of my friends stand there that said, Just a minute, sir. I wasn't confused until I heard the tapes. So the 
only way not to be confused is to play the tapes. That's what he said. You've got to play the tapes. Ministers, pastors, play the tapes to your people. We should listen to the tapes all the time. You should have them on all the time, day in and day out. Amen. Amen. We can have the voice of God speak to us all the time. I had a minister friend of mine that he, he came to me and he was talking. And he said that, uh, he said, Brother Joseph, he said, I caught the vision. He says, I've been playing the tapes in the church. And he says, it's been such a wonderful blessing inside of my church. And he says, it's just, he says, it's been wonderful. And he says, but he says, I had another minister brother. He says, that called me up, a friend, and asked me, he says, I heard that you've quit your ministry. You've quit your ministry. And I looked at him. I said, you know what to tell him? You need to tell him you just came into your ministry. <laughs> and only this word can bring that bride together. No man, us man can do that. That's my job. That's every minister's job. I believe that with all my heart, is to lay that platform for that prophet, for that messenger. We've all, you heard him today, he says there's preachers, teachers, apostles, prophets. He says God's dressing, he's got God's men everywhere. To me, it's to lay that platform for that prophet. We introduce that prophet, we introduce the word, and that's what we feast upon. He did it so that we can listen to it. And to bring you up as if you don't know some of you and some of the younger ones, when Brother Branham was out in Arizona and you hear him saying this message, all the churches had turned him down. All the places he tried to, they were a threat. They did not. They boycotted him. They come together and said he couldn't speak at their church. He said the Assemblies of God and the Pentecostal and everything else, they come together. They would not let Brother Branham come up and speak in their church. They wouldn't do it. Because if they would, the organization would kick them out. And he said that that was their meal tickets. Those demises. Amen. That's what he said they were. That was those demises. He says that they went that way for the denomination. No, Brother Brown can't come up in the pulpit. He says, I understand. I understand. That's it. He goes, but not me. I go for the mind, the perfect will of God. Amen. He goes on to say here, he says in that morning, Brother Green, he says, Brother Green, this morning the pulpit was open at any time. Now, usually, that's open for me to speak. Amen. Amen. Now, usually, I have to drive all the way to Jeffersonville, Indiana, to give a message that God gave me to bring it to the people. Go all the way to Jeffersonville, Indiana, and each one of you string across the country and hook up the wires and things to get the message. Because that's what we're living on. Are you living on this message? Amen. Spiritual food in these seasons. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You can see this. I love that. I love that. He see, he said, see, that's what we're here for. Well, we don't have to do no more. Well, God give me a message. God gives me a message. I can walk right here to the pulpit and preach it and feel free to do it. Because he was welcomed to that pulpit. While Brother Green made that statement, I'm just backing up what God's already given. You've got the word, Brother Branham. The message come to the... That's right. And he had the word, and Brother Green recognized, and this is your pulpit. 
Whenever you want to come, you can come and speak. You can speak the word. That's what we're living on. That's what we're here for. He says, now I have a freedom to come and to bring the word any time that he was willing to sit down to let that prophet come up and to speak. That's why he said he was so happy. He says, I'm so thankful. Now I don't have to go right back to Jeffersonville. I can do it right here because everybody's shutting down. We had no place to speak. So he was so happy and so thankful to the Lord of that. But so is it now today Amen. that in this message, it's the same thing. That's yeah. right. Amen. It is the same thing in this message. Amen. If you try to encourage a minister to play the tape in the church, you are so misunderstood. Amen. Amen. You're misunderstood. Amen. It's the tape that you're against the fivefold ministry. You're against the ministry. It's not against the ministry. It's that Brother Branham doesn't have a pulpit. Amen. He doesn't have a place. He wanted to speak to his people like this. Amen. The word come to speak to his bride of Jesus Christ, but he's not welcome no more. Amen. And to do it, if you're boycotted, and so you hear that, you know, well, we can play the tapes anytime. We need a live ministry. Amen. Now don't get me wrong. I'm all about it. But guess what? This is the largest ministry there is. Glory to the Lord. just the way that it is. Amen. And when you shut that prophet out of that pulpit and you say that that's not a live ministry, I got something to tell you. Demas. Amen. Demas. I know I'm going to get it for that. Oh, well, that's all right. <laughs> But I'm not against nothing. But I'm for this word. I'm for this message. I'm for God's prophet. And this is his pulpit. His pulpit. a revelation of that. That is my revelation. That's this message. Amen. Praise the Lord. You may be seated. So when I hear that message today, when I heard it, it just breaks my heart. They did it to Jesus. They did it to God's prophet. They do it now. Amen. They don't want him behind the pulpit. They don't want him to bring it. It's like, well, I'll just give him a few minutes here and there. And it's back to the preparation. If it is, yeah, it's just so hard on the people. They'll 30 minutes and, oh, man, we got to go. I said, man, I ain't got that problem. Our people work three hours tonight. Praise the Lord. <laughs> so we should be. The man says, you know, your beans or your money or whatever. He says, this is more important than that and all your money and whatever you're going to do. This is eternal life.